The blank is unidirectional carbon fiber with an interesting wave pattern and flecks of silver throughout. It's 6 millimeters thick, 16 inches long, and 2 inches wide, so I've designed the pattern to fit within those parameters. I cut out the basic shape using a tungsten carbide cutting wheel, then transferred the bevel line through the template with a craft knife and a pencil. I also marked the center line as a guide for evenly removing material during the sharpening process. Initial shaping was done using a sanding drum to roughly shape the edge and a permagrit sanding block to taper the blade from base to tip. The shape was further refined using sanding sticks and small files. This is how the raw carbon blade looks with its unique fiber pattern revealed. It still needs a final coat of resin to seal and smooth the surface. I modeled the Tanto fittings in Fusion 360 and printed them all in matte fiber HT PLA filament, except for the pin and the cord loop which will be cut from the carbon fiber cutoffs left over from the blade blank. Each 3D printed piece is designed to be slightly oversized so that it can be custom fitted to the blade, roughly at this stage then precisely later once the blade has been sealed. The scabbard was printed in multiple parts to accommodate the 3D printer's size restrictions. The three parts fit together to create a secure joint and the seams will align with the ring to create a decorative detail. The base of the scabbard has to fit snugly over the hibaki collar at the base of the blade. I refined the fit before gluing the parts together and welding the seam with the wood burning tool.
With all of the parts assembled, the outer shape was sanded using a palm sander with 150, 220, and 400 grit sandpaper to remove those print lines. Each part was then wet sanded by hand up to 2000 grit for a smooth, non-slip matte finish. I printed a template from my 3D model for the Kurikata cord loop and cut this from the remainder of the carbon fiber sheet. I ground out the center hole using a diamond burr bit, the same type of bit which I used for very fine shaping of the plastic fittings. After sealing and polishing the loop, I secured it into the slot on the scabbard with epoxy. The blade was sealed with epoxy, coated with clear lacquer and wet sanded to 2000 grit. I then polished it to a perfect gloss finish using plastic polish and a series of foam polishing pads with a drill adapter. After polishing, I used 2000 grit sandpaper to sharpen the edge. To assemble the tanto, first the hibaki collar is threaded onto the tang, followed by the first seppo washer, the soba cross guard, and the second seppo washer, then the grip. And finally, the peg is inserted to lock the pieces together. Each part has to be placed in the correct order and with the correct orientation in order for them to fit together. There's also a second option for the cross guard, a version that extends past the seppo. To disassemble the tanto, the pin can be removed by pressing from the back as oriented when the edge is facing left. The pin is marked at one end to indicate the front top for when it's replaced. To sheath the tanto, the blade's back ridge is rested against the inside of the sheath so that the edge is clear. The sheath fits tightly around the blade collar. To remove the sheath, knuckles are placed together and tightened for a controlled release from the collar before sliding the blade out along the back. <laughs> 